Hey guys, what's up? Um, today, uh, I was, uh, I just thought I could teach you guys a little something. So, I was watching one of my videos, and I saw that I was showing you guys the table cut control. Like, you know, you throw those cards on a table, and I realized, what if you guys are doing uh, a card trick, and you don't have, like, a table, a coffee table, or something like that, to use that kind of control. So I thought I could show you guys, um, ways to control a card, um, to the top without a table. So, um, this one is probably the one I use the most. It's called the Centurion's Control. And looks a little something like that. And, uh, the card is now on the top. I don't know if I showed you guys the card, though, but, <clears throat> let's see. So, we'll take this card here. The Eight of Diamonds. And this is how this control is done. Um, you throw it in the middle of the deck, and you get a break, like, um, you know, all, all pretty much all controls do. And, um, you do a swing cut, and you want to swing cut half the cards from your thumb break. Then you want to peel off this top card, and you want to do a swivel cut off uh, with the rest of the break, so you'd have it like this, and you just do a swivel cut, and then you just throw that on top. Now that Eight of Diamonds is on the top. So that's probably the one I do the most often, but the one that I probably would want to teach you guys is a very commonly known one known as the Triple Cut Control. And uh, it looks a little something like this. It's just a series of undercuts that brings the card to the top. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this. And uh, so you throw it in the middle of the deck. Again, oops, I didn't get a thumb break. I don't think is that it. Yeah, okay. Uh, you get a thumb break. And you just take half the cards from underneath it. Uh, you can take another half if you want and then take a full one. It doesn't really matter as long as you know you get that card to the top. <clears throat> now the good thing about the triple cut control is you can also get it to the bottom with this cut. Um, so instead of pushing down and in, you could push up and in. Then you just can do uh, like two under cuts, and now boom, the card is on the bottom. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I know many other controls. There's there's a few other controls that are a little different that I that I saw. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, so basically, all the, all the control, all that you kind of have to know how to do when you're doing a control is like a swing cut, a swivel cut, and then you know it's just pretty much all there is to it because that's that's pretty much the basics of how to do a control. Um, uh, just knowing how to do swing cuts, swivel cuts, and all that good stuff. So yeah. Um, there's a few other ones that are a bit, uh, kind of more, a little bit more difficult or something like that, um, but, uh, there's like, uh, there's also controls called the spread cull, where, uh, you, you would just touch the back of the card, say, this one right here, and if I, if, if done correctly, um, you could bring that card right to the bottom. Um, so, that one, I'm, it's, it's a little bit, uh, more difficult, so I'm not really teaching that one right away. But yeah, so there's there's loads of different types of controls. You can experiment it with your with you can experiment with it yourself. That's what I meant to say. Um, and you can see which one works best best for you. So um, like swing cuts, swivel cuts, what you like to do um, to get a card to the top. But um, so I just thought you guys could know that um, not all tricks you know require a table to do table cuts like that. You can do swing cuts to control the card um and yeah so i know this might be a little shorter of a video so i'll be posting another uh trick later um today and uh, so i can't wait to show you guys the trick that i got to show you so um yeah so thanks for watching guys uh comment like subscribe do whatever you want and uh that's gonna be it for now guys and uh, see you guys later thanks for watching